How are you guys doing? I am finally cracking the backlog that I've been sitting here. It's like a month and a half worth of content, and I'm going to give you guys only the best runs. I feel like prismatic dead branch corruption on the silent needs no introduction, so enjoy. So what do we got? Common relic or gold? That gold looks incredible. Damn, gold looks incredible because then it allows me to do aggressive elites because I can set myself up for success, right? Theoretically, gold into shop allows me to do elites. Although if this was the iron shot, yes. But on the silent, I'm not too confident. I don't know. But if you can buy a potion, you can do some early elites. This is, could be a good act one. Let's do it. Get that gold, baby. It has potential here for sure. Mm hmm. Oh, jeez. Speed for silent? I mean. My gameplay is just being speedy. It's not necessarily that I'm going to be a... Uh, well, this guy's... Oof, this is rough. What would be a speedy build? What Catalyst, burr, poison, poison, bye-bye. But my, my point is to be relatively fast, but also maybe not completely blundering. Poison stab. That's like a good damage card. Who's the boss? Slime boss. All right. Now, what is the ticket for slime boss in this? Uh, this? Ooh. Well, speaking of poison, we have Catalyst, but Catalyst is... Wait. Here it is. Sting of Courage. Sting of Courage, go for all the elites. Sting of Courage is really fucking good. Especially if you take things like, uh, I don't know, Ritter of Holes, Shets, Finisher, number of things. Do you want to buy a Catalyst? Buy a Catalyst feels like a grief when all you have is a Poison Stab. Sting of Courage means I want to go, I might even buy the all that attack. I might want to buy all the all attack. Well, all the plants is great. I like removing strikes in general. Um, these potions are pretty good. So maybe instead of buying all attack, which is not bad, maybe I buy this potion for the... What about fairy? Fairy, I never... Okay, what up? Potion remove. Potion remove. Or is all attack worth it? Potion remove. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, we got an upgrade. Now, what's a good upgrade here? Upgrade the neutralize, upgrade the poison stab, or upgrade the well laid? Yeah, chip is expensive, unfortunately. I can get the neutralize upgrade out of the way. That makes lock of bull in, in gremlin lab a little bit easier. If I upgrade the poison stab, that makes my damage a little bit better as well against both gremlin and laga. Wally plants doesn't seem like a good upgrade right away. Definitely want to upgrade one of these two cards. You can transform a strike and say say la vie, but I think upgrading the poison stab makes more sense, right? Transform is too much of a mixed bag. Neutralize is a very good upgrade to have throughout the game. So now the question is, do we want to go for a fight elite? Sorry, a fight event, event event, or fight fight? Well, here's the thing. If you do fight fight, you get cards. Cards help you kill the elites. And they also give you potions. If you do the event, the event can give you nothing but pain. No cards, no potions. We, we suffer. So if you want to do elites, you probably want to go for fights, right? Now the event could be a fight. It could also be like upgrade 2. I'm going to take a one fight. Let's do a fight here. All right, he's weakened, he's poisoned. We need to get some good cards here. Oops, I should have full blocks. That was one damage I didn't need to take. All right, give me some cards, give me some potions. Got a card. Now, it's Bane, and I might have to pay. It might have to work, because Bane does work with Courage. Yes, it only relies on Poison Stab, but when Poison Stab is there, that's doing 18 damage. I think we got to take that risk. And now again, I'm asking one more card, one more chance of a potion or an event. Well, I like act one events to an extent. There's a shop here. So if there's a gold event, I can also go to the shop. What do you guys think? Is this enough to beat the first elite? I think it is. Let's go for an event. This is a good event. This is a really good event. This is a very good event because it has Bloody Idol on going into Act 2, and Gold is great. However, it's not good in terms of taking damage. I think we have to lose max HP. Fuck. So that we're going to have no max HP run, which is terrible. Wait, was this a Blessing the Forge turn? It was, wasn't it? Ooh, I played that too quickly. I, would, I could have held two cards. Holding two cards is OP in this fight because of all the days. Gold and Wilder Plans would have been sick. That was a mistake. Because holding two cards is OP in this fight. 
But maybe I'll hold Swally Plains for Gremlin Lab. Gremlin Lab is probably t tougher for us. We'll go out on a limb and say Gremlin Lab is tougher for us. But here, for instance, I could have held two defense, which is sick. Love that. And what's more important to hold? The, the strikes or the defend? I think the defend could want to save our life. Could have held both with all the plants. Okay, but I think holding this potion might be better for Gunlam anyways. We'll see. Maybe I get the Bane poison stab again. Yeah, we could have had full block every turn with this poison. This Okay, not bad. This, this better give me good value this blessing in the forge because this would have been incredible value with this Wally plans in this fight. So what's the next upgrade? Let's see what we get out of here first. When is the next upgrade? Let's find out. I wonder how much that would have saved me. That would have saved me probably like a decent amount of life for sure. All right, let's go. Strawberry energy pot. Love that. Flechettes. Flechettes is good. We have Sling of Courage. How many skills do we have? I like the Flechettes Sling of Courage a lot. And we have other plans to maximize its value. Yes, we have a lot of strikes in the deck and not that many skills. But I think it does just enough here. I want to upgrade it as well. It's a good start to the turn, but I kind of want to wait till Wally plants and just set up in this fight. Although, this is a good blessing of the forge. It upgrades my defense, it upgrades my bane. I can also just strike now, go crazy. But isn't it better to set up first? It's probably better to set up first. And then I'll bless in the forge whatever Wally Plans has. Set up. This is a really bad blessing the forge though. It only upgrades like what? I think Blessing the Forge was better last turn because what it upgrades freaking This is such a shitty wall of uh, blessing the forge. So shitty, actually. <laughs> oh, buddy, you okay? You okay, Papa? Sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. How important is uh, holding two cards? Holding two cards allows for bigger flechettes and stuff. Upgrading defense versus upgrading strikes. Well, right, let's do it now. There's the flechettes. Love, love that. Flex pot, malaise. Woo, flex pot, malaise. All right, boys, that's a nice intro. So th this could be golden, sparkle, gremlin, or sparkle, triple century. And malaise is not good against triple century. Not that good against gremlin. It's okay against gremlin, whatever, for weaken. The endless agony is better for the gremlin. But the malaise is too good of a card. I know it doesn't make that much sense going to the, the sparkle elite. This doesn't do much, but we have flex pot, we should be fine. I can't, I'm not going to skip the malaise. That's just silly talk. Mitraku makes the endless agony better. All right. Is it worth doing sparkle now? Let's think about it. We have flex pot. We have decent damage. Flex pot, flechettes, might as well just do it. Let's do it. Get it out of the way. We have sling of courage as well. I mean, we're made for this. We're made for
trade for this. We get to hold it to Bane, which is really good. If I draw the Poison Stab here. Didn't draw the Poison Stab. But we got lethal anyways, baby. Deck is doing well. Nunchaku stacked. All right, now is when it starts getting interesting. What are the card choices? Backflip just seems like a pretty good card. Plays well with the Shets. Poison Stab seems like a really good card as well because it plays well with Bane. Double up on the Poison Stab double, helps Bane be more active. But Backflip helps the Shets be more active and then draw into other things as well. So I'm kind of leaning into the Backflip. I think my damage is pretty much solved with the, with the Shets right now. I wouldn't say solved, but it definitely... Backflip is also going to serve me well in the future as well. Uh, I'm going to do backflip. Although, I guess if we have Bane deck, we should probably double up on the poison step now. Backflip, backflip, backflip. All right, what is it going to be? It's a Grumman max HP. Ouch. We need a big flechette here. No big flechette, but instead we have flex putt with the... Um, this turn should i say flex pot for the flesh turn or just do it now with all this damage a lot of damage now We have lethal next turn, right? Because the chat should kill. Let's just do in 16. 16. 16 plus um, 8. 24. We have guaranteed lethal next turn. We use both potions, which makes slime boss a little bit scarier, but we got this out of the way. So we have the spark out of the way. That makes our, our act too much happier. And boom. I sort of think Phantasmal is not bad, right? Phantasmal doubles your damage. That seems pretty good. Is that enough to take care of the slime boss? I'm not sure. Let's find out. How much damage do we have? Not enough. Damn. Wish I had more. Sag. Oh shit, that's not good. Wait, this guy's trying to kill me. That's not good. Slow down, sir. Okay, I don't get to hold on to my flechettes. Uh, this wastes. Actually, it doesn't waste anything. Um, I can let her die. Fine. No Nunchaku. All right. Catalyst is coming back. The problem with Catalyst is we don't have poison. We have only one poison stab. We can take a Catalyst and say, I can lean into the poison starting now. It's going to be a curse, but we have well-laid plans, so there's a couple things going with it. Well-laid plans... To hold it, now we have Catalyst, we find some poison, or we take Dagger Spirit. Dagger Spirit plays with a single Courage in the um, Elite Fights, and we have Phantasmal Killer, so Dagger Spirit plays with Phantasmal Killer. So I guess we're kind of leaning into the Phantasmal Killer stuff, right? And now a couple things we want to upgrade. Do we want to upgrade this so it's free? Do we want to upgrade this so we hold, retain more cards? Do we want to upgrade this so it does more damage? Returning two more cards helps with the Flechettes, but overall I don't have the energy usually for that. And someone wanted a Prismatic Shard. You guys want it? You guys down? I got everything I wanted out of this class. Time to go Prismatic Shard. Kind of interesting with Prismatic Shard. Only because I have question cards. So we're going to see even more. I can't say for sure I got everything I wanted. But it is tempting. What's that red sheep? How you doing? This doesn't help me at all against the, the boss. Fuck it, let's get wild. Now, what is the next big upgrade? 
Make this free so I, I never have to worry about that. Make this better. Alrighty, let's go. So when is the next good blessing? What do you guys think it is? I'm not blessing for this fight in particular. Get some watcher cards. Alright, let's try it. So it's RGB, but purple asterisk. There's purple with the prismatic. Or we can keep it complete RGB and ignore the um, watcher altogether. This so laser is pretty bad in this fight. These strikes stack up my end and shock. I want to get this out of the way. Just get it out of the deck. Hold on to these. Consider when I'm going to do the blessing. I can bless him now. Not the best blessing in the world. What would you rather blessing? I guess you'd rather blessing the, the Bane and the Phantasma. But this is good because my next two cards are upgraded. Phantasma should be a good way to win this fight. I don't hate this blessing. I don't hate it. I can even save it for Act 2. R, R, G, B, V, it, exactly. Um... How much trouble? I mean, I'm not gonna say for back to. I, I don't want to dilly dally. These fights they have a reputation for being dangerous. Why dilly dally? It's a big switch sets. We have the weekend. We can also hold on to the sets with Phantasm Killer, so we can go wild. We can full block here, play Phantasm Killer, hold the sets, hold Dagger Spray, go crazy. We also can go do a lot of damage now, right? If we do damage now, we have 14, 38, 38 plus 4, 42. Phantasm Killer in the draw seems like we want to rather wait. So let's wait. Add more slimes. Slimes makes the sets worse. But it makes Daggers really good. My least for zero, because uh, negative strength is not, not nothing, and also it could have extended the weekend. Uh, here's hoping that I um, You're hoping that the Fletch actually does something, or, or I'm hoping I don't get fucked up by the, um... By the slimes. Prismatic to beget. Omniscience. Omniscience would be cool if it wasn't so damn expensive. Well, you just in that case you just get minus two strength as opposed to whatever else because I didn't necessarily want to push the, sh the strike damage. Um, because we want to wait for Phantasma anyways, right? Siege Technique is pretty good as well. Siege Technique allows you to draw into Malaysian Phantasma Killer. After Image is not a bad card. Mayhem is completely random. If you think Omniscience is guaranteed Sneko, uh, do I like Sneko here? This submission really is a, a massive curse. It's, it's nothing but a curse here. Yeah, but AI, I guess, this is a little bit different of a deck. AI in that particular deck, but yeah, Shiv's made sense. I think Secret Technique is, is, in terms of consistency, I like the Secret Technique. You guys prefer the After Image. Eh. Eh. I like the tech. 
And if it's if it's, if it is Neko, this omniscience is gonna be pretty nice. In general, this is kind of weird. My deck is. Hmm. Is Aftermath just a better card than Secret Technique overall? It, it opens up more options. I can see that it does. Secret Technique can play with Fachettes, yes. Secret Technique also just th makes your deck more consistent in terms of Phantasmic Killer and Malaise when you need it. It is a Sneko. Who called it? Who the fuck said it? Who. Admissions was there. Do we take it anyways? Because with, with the Sneko, you get big Fachettes, but it's not may not be playable. But Fachettes, Welly Plants is pretty good. I mean, Wally Plants for Shets. Wally Plants Sneko is really good in general. And we can start adding. So, Act is going to be difficult at first, but we can start adding Sneko cards. Because remember, we have Question Card. Question Card with this, we can add Bludgeons. We can add whatever you want. No, I'm not going to ban him. I'm not going to ban him. Astrolabe is also kind of cute as well. Get rid of three strikes. Get some more skills in your life. Maybe some powers. Shets is. I, I'm a big sucker of, uh, for Astral Leaf, especially in decks that are, like, are operating like this. I'm taking Snuggle. Let's do it. I think Snuggle might bite me in the ass at first. and But with enough question cards shards, we'll probably uh, balance it out. In fact, I should probably not go for too aggressive of pathing until I get my Snuggle sorted. Here's an example of... If I were to malaise, what's the beauty of malaise here? Well, it supplies through weaken. Is that good? Well, I guess we're the artifacts for poison staff. I guess simple as that. Weaken is not a bad thing to apply, but I want to get afterwards out of the way. I feel like getting afterwards out of the way is probably better. Keep my laser one block with AI, uh, or I could just play it now, get rid of two artifacts. The second artifact's gonna be the weaken. So I can apply it for weaken though. Oh no, the way this X3 strike is, is it costs one artifact, right? Never mind, it counts as one artifact. So we wanna neutralize into poison step, or vice versa. Which means I kinda wanna hold on to Bane and poison step, because next turn. It's kind of interesting. Next turn we could do um, poison that ban and go crazy damage. As long as neutralize is playable, right? That's the main issue. If neutralize isn't playable, this is bad. I mean, I like the idea. If I get neutralize playable, then poison that ban is pretty sick. It's a crapshoot. Who knows what's gonna happen? Who knows what's going to happen? That's decent damage. Really decent damage. Decent enough. Could I have avoided taking damage altogether in this fight? It's possible. Really? Let's go. All right. So first and foremost, we have question card prismatic. We have Sneko Eye, and we got offered. The fuck are these? Now, Kuro did say he likes outmaneuver. Should I try it out? Outmaneuver Sneko Eye. See what happens. See how it feels. Can't watch me play another game. Why is that, Cooper Show? Why is that? Let's, let's see the Q roll uh, suggestion. Let's try it out. Damn. I, I would I would normally skip there, but he 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 called out a maneuver in early Act Two with Sneko last time. I'm trying to see what he, see what he's all about here. If you're taking damage here, no matter what. I'm trying to think what I could do here. I could just do defend poisons that malaise. Anime game? Anime game. Anime game. 
anime game. What are you talking about? I would like to play after Mish, but oh, she's okay. If I don't take that much damage for this fight, I'm happy. If that's the worst of the damage I take, I'm happy. Oh, we did it. We got the outmaneuver. Let's go. I'm seeing the power. I'm seeing the power. Well, give me a second here. You talking about? I think you're talking about uh, Yi Zhan, yeah. I should probably hold on to fish. It's probably just better as like a last uh, last resort thing. Okay, there's that maneuver again, making my next turn incredible. How much damage is this? That's thirty freaking damage. What's thirty? I can do that next turn. All right, we hold on to skills. We play for chess. We win, right? Just got to repeat the same thirty process. I said hold on to the skills, but dagger spray is like a good uh, second. Okay, how about we do? do let's just redraw into flechettes. How about that? How about we redraw into flechettes? It's not possible, but at least dagger spray is pretty good. As well, next turn. Okay, we didn't redraw, but we got a decent turn here. How much damage do I have? 12, 36, 36 plus 51. Good. Cal okay, what is this? I have Sneko Question Card, Prismatic Shard, and I'm getting these cards? A catalyst is back, but the catalyst doesn't make any sense here. I'm sorry, catalyst. I'm gonna let you go, catalyst. We're trying to do something physical here. Catalyst really wants to be part of the team. Maybe if I take this catalyst, then I'm gonna get bouncing flask, crippling cloud. Ooh, I want that curse. And there's a shop right here. Curse into shop. Ooh, how's that sound? We get one less elite, but we get a nice ass shop. So one less elite, but we get a big fat shop. Damn, these are some bad energy costs. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay, we got the flechettes. We have the poison side. We have the kill. I have too much damage on this guy. How much damage do we have? We have 30? 30 plus 9? 39? 39 plus 14? Damn. Too much damage. But, okay. This fight is actually really hard for us, isn't it? We, we actually, we, I think we need to maximize Phantasma Killer for this fight. And we have, oof. Phantasma Killer with the, the memories just to save life. Maybe I could have played that better. I don't know. I can get my laser out of my, my deck as well. All right. So, regret is pretty bad. Just as a concept, I need to draw into Survivor here. So, we don't get Survivor, but we did get rid of most of the cards. Alright, and now we have a 
big ass phantasm killer charm. Very nice. Is it worth taking three damage to keep these potions? I think so. Unless you get a potion drop. If you get a potion drop, if you get a potion drop, okay, I'll, I'll take the three damage. Alrighty. Again, what the hell are these Sneko question cards? What is it going? So are you telling me the average cost of cards throughout all the classes is less than two? Eh, that makes sense. So unfortunately, Prismatic Shard is not paying out just yet. I would love this card any other time. FTL would be incredible if I didn't have Sneko. FTL is stupid good with Nunchaku and everything else. FTL is Sling, but it's also FTL Sneko. So, you know. Body system is interesting, but not good. Okay. Machine learning would be cool if it... Machine learning might be positive. If I get a modified hand here. Modified hand is a decent out here. I'm going to try it. The hand. Okay, no hand. There's the bouncing flask, and now Sneko is asking some questions. Like, hey, Catalyst, you want, you saw me. Now you can do poison. Okay, I want to move the regret first and foremost. Let's get that out of the way. Now, I'm thinking of taking the potion belt, taking the anchor. How does that sound? Potion belt, anchor. Where do you guys want to buy glass knife or go for elites? Well, we're going for elites anyways. Glass knife is way too expensive, however. Potion belt doesn't do anything now, but it's good for future value. Are we scared of these elites? Well, I didn't get, pick up any cards. I think I went through all of this and didn't pick up any cards. I picked up an anchor. That's it. So basically, what I did was pick up an anchor, and now we're fighting. No cards. Okay, I got the cards that I got are pretty shit. Machine learning, I'm gonna be pretty shit. But we have future value as long as we don't die here. So I want to just melee straight up. Why? Because melee is really good in this fight. I also want to play my aftermath as well. But what's more important, aftermath now or just get fat ass melees? Adasmalay seems pretty decent in this fight. There's the machine learning. That was trash. The Phantasm. Phantasm is way too expensive. I kind of want to get machine learning out of the way, but... Should I do Liquid Memories on the Flechettes or should I wait for Phantasmal first? How do I play this? Just do Phantasmal anyways. Make sure I'm not drawing attacks unless I get exactly Flechettes next turn. So we're going to get some Slams in our deck. By Slams, I mean Wounds. Okay, we got the Wally Plans and then we got nothing else. This is the worst Nickel Can I've ever seen. Jeez Louise. Um, wow, this is a Sneko from hell. What the heck? But it kind of makes sense. My average cost of cards are way too low. Sneko was going to balance out, I promise you. It just... Maybe it won't. Maybe it won't balance out. I don't know. It's... It's... Well, okay. How are we winning this fight? We're winning this fight off, off the back of a big uh, Phantasmal to, to Lethal, right? Is it just Survivor Strike? That's it. I'm taking a lot of damage this fight. I'm not really happy about that. Yeah, that was really bad. Way too much damage this fight. We had the Phantasmal, but this is such a bad time for Phantasmal. 
I mean, I could use potions. Potions here saves me how much life? Not much. But I... Ah, damn. Come on, Flechettes, you got this. How much is this? 32. Very good. All right. Well, the problem is it took so long to get there. Now we're talking. Okay, now we have fucking expensive cars like a barricade. Barricade is very good. I like the barricade. We can go somewhere now. Yes, 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 yes. I'm forced. I feel like I'm forced to rest here. Because what's the upgrade? The upgrade would be after mission one. Okay, Malay, so he's not complete trash. Um, on zero, whatever. Or I'll maneuver. I'll maneuver is barely playable to begin with. I'm forced to rest. Hate that. Worst person in my life. Okay, but only because the question card was really trolling me, and man. Didn't get any better. I guess the quality of my cards are pretty bad. Whew. You want to play barricade, but at the same time, you also want to do strike, strike, get rid of these grubments. No. Not like this. I might just do liquid memories on the Gwale plants. I should do a essence of steel on this fight. My bad. Right, I'm thinking of doing while they plans back up the memories, or I can save it for lethal. Next turn is pretty good because I have outmaneuver. But if I can bring back while they plans, then I can set up big um, lethal turns as well. Here it comes. Ouch, man. Why are you so angry? Holy shit. Where's my... This is so much damage. This is so much damage. Where the hell is my... Hmm. I don't have lethal. If I did, I would have went for it. How much is this? Minus five? I, what's the math on this, guys? Six, six we can, yeah, that's good. Math is good. The math is good. Checks out. All right, fight's free. It only took one potion, I guess. Oh, we have outmaneuver, boys. We have outmaneuver, check that out. Check that out. Outmaneuver into a big ass damage turn. Barricade. Ah, it's coming together. A couple more good snuggle cards and we are in the clear. Worship. Worship. It's just a divinity button. You draw it twice. Boom. Infinite damage. Give me energy. Pretty good. Have one worship in the deck. And then with Phantasmal Killer, it's like disgusting damage. Phantasmal Killer worship. Whetstone is Whetstone good? It upgrades the Bane Poison Stab or my strikes. I don't care about the strikes, so I think I don't mind Sapphire Key here because okay, the Bane and the Poison Stab are okay upgrades, but I'm not like that worried about it. Next one to get a big, bit thick. I gotta draw it twice, yes. But this doesn't seem too hard to do. I mean, 
the nine what's the one when you have to do damage against Browns that have made it like a troll? Now just get a hologram? Yes. Alright, what do you got for me? I need my for you. Got the malaise. But I want to play Wally Plants. Hmm. I can just do malaise and take no damage this fight. The Wally Plants saves me a lot of life. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Okay, let's do this. Let's do that. Fight should be free. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, look at next turn. Next turn's gonna be crazy. Look at next turn. Sheesh. But I gotta do something first, like that. So dagger spray first. Because it's gonna give me way too much pullback. Perfect new Chaku. More backflips. How's the Vinny place from Tasmo Stack? Is it times four or times six? We're gonna find out. We are gonna find out. More backflips or nah? How about the worship? Is headbutt worship cheesy or good? Because headbutt might just be three costs, and then you just have a random ass headbutt in your deck. But you can also headbutt back your Phantasmal Killer. Headbutt worship seems like a troll. Seems kind of stinky, right? Mm. But headbutt for the entrenched we're about to get. Um, what are the upgrades? I went for energy after so I can get a turn one. I may not be able to play a turn one, but it, I would like to try. I would like to try. Because my laser is the best upgrade, and I guess I maneuver is the best upgrade as well. Nice. Good turn. Good turn. I like this. I like this a lot. Got the barricade. Let's hold on to that barricade. I have a turn where I just pay nothing but barricade, huh? Never mind, I can't. Well, maybe I can. Wait a minute. I gotta do Omnibus first. I'm trying to get this barricade out because I can stall this fight, but I might as well just. It's tough. Trying to get barricade out. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm trying. I'm desperately trying. Okay, it's possible. There it is. And we have worship, but I can't play worship. So I can play worship instead of barricade and say, all right, instead of playing fucking barricade, you just play the worship. You play the worship, the redraw is incredible. Pretty good investment to play the worship. You play the barricade, you have some block left over, but very minimal. Damn, these costs are crazy. Worship seems like the best thing to have because the next time we find it is infinite GG. Barricade doesn't give you that much left of a block. Some, but not, not not that much. I think worship is bait. Is it really? We're gonna have to redraw and doesn't feel like bait to me. Does not feel like bait to me. Yeah, we're gonna see how much it stacks with. There's the, the worship. Imagine. Imagine if I had played it, huh? Whew. Is this a speed pot turn? No, man. Theoretically, if I played worship, I'm not sure if I was gonna redraw it anyways. So we're taking damage yet again. Which I don't like. What to do, huh? What to do? 
I think worship would make more sense overall. Becker's pretty slow here. So the Fantasma's coming coming into play here. I like that. This hand's trash, but at least I can hold on for four sets. Okay. That deck will get better, don't worry. Unfortunately, this ruins my... Um, my Nunchaku. I think hold on to Nunchaku is pretty important. But fuck it. What are these cards? These are not Sneko cards. I guess setup could work. Setup sometimes does help. But setup itself might be a randomized cost. That's the thing. And no, actually, Sneko doesn't do anything with this. What am I talking about? Sneko doesn't do shit. Wait, what about Scrape? What about Scrape? Scrape digs through your deck, and if it, Sneko is so kind, then it can help. We have Juzu. I'm gonna fight. I think I'm gonna flex about this turn. I wanna play Almanor for this turn. I really wanna play Almanor for this turn. I really wanna play Almanor for this turn. I know Flex is probably better. I mean, Fang Shrike could just kill this guy. But he's gonna kill himself anyways. That guy's gonna kill himself. Problem is I'm also not taking damage, which is not good. I mean, I guess I could've killed. I could have played this better, I think. These guys are so trash. God. There we go. That's a card. Shockwave plus. Alright, do I rush for the Dreamcatcher value? Because what's the upgrade? Upgrades malaise. But here's the thing, I'm not too confident. I mean, I guess we power up for the bronze out of maiden. Dreamcatcher value is not that great. Um I guess malaise does want to be upgraded, or maybe I maneuver I'm maneuver is still kind of trash. Rest for card. Uh resting for cards feels like trash, but what does this deck need? It needs cards. And we've been trying desperately to find cards. I don't like resting. But Malay's upgrade's not that great here. So let's get cards. None of these cards are it. These cards are not it. Damn, this prismatic shard has been brutal. I guess charge battery is probably the best thing. It's a block card with barricade and sometimes helps with energy. We're digging. We're eventually going to find cards we like, eventually. Blade Dance gives you some Nuchaku value and some after image value. And Blade Dance also operates with the uh, with the uh, Phantasma Killer. And Blade Dance also helps with the Shets. So, yes, the problem is its price. It has some value of after image, some value of Nuchaku. Plays with the Shets, also plays with Phantasmal. But it's also just a card that just costs too much. You know? I think Charge Battery is probably the one that I like the best just because it helps me have... It's a block card with Barricade and it gives me some... Okay, I'll take the Charge Battery. I don't like it. I'd rather get other cards. Okay, let's see what power we get. Okay, I play Worship early, which is nice. Ray from or Venom. And Venom gives me a lot of damage in this fight. Gets rid of his artifacts as well, which is nice. Things I want to play Worship... 
I like the Venom for this deck. Footwork for Barricade. If we play Footwork, we have Barricade going crazy. And here's the thing. I want to play Flechette's in Power uh, in Venom. i Maneuver. And I guess Worship is never getting played. I wish I had Calipers. So that would be sick. Killing the minions is not bad because it gets well. I want to draw to barricade at full cost, and if I, I discount cost, if they sell the barricade, that's gonna make the barricade cost too much, right? So killing the minions does seem decent, just so they don't steal my barricade. Although I have enough damage, I'll do this. I don't want them killing. I, sh I can diversify the damage. If I diversify the damage, then they drop the barricade from their from their ass. Full block. Steal the malaise. This guy steals machine learning. Ah, the barricade. We have the shock weave in our hands. I want to redraw into it so it's not so costly. I also really want to play Bane Strike, kill this guy. Redraw the barricade. Redraw the barricade is pretty good for this fight. This is kind of a tough fight. Because you want to play your powers, but all these powers are so expensive. They're doing great, six ounce. Hey, look at him. Look at the boy. Um, let's think about this. I want to play Wally Plants. I also want to kill this thing to redraw the barricade. Let's just do this. I want to redraw the shockwave. I want to get machine learning out of my deck. I want to do all these things. Okay, now red barricade the redraw is really far away. And it's really far away the barricade redraw. These strikes are way too expensive. I was trying to do Malaysia out of weight. I think Malaysia is still worth. I can just do Barricade next turn straight up. Or Malaysia straight up next turn. Either or. We got to worship. Wow, this is a good turn. I like the Barricade straight up outmaneuver. Oof. This is interesting. All right. Finally, we got some good cost here. Barricade seems useful next turn, but if I can just do Malaysia straight up. I wonder if it's so good though. I wonder if it's so good to play here in this spot because you can get machine learning out, play all these cards, get the shockwave out, and next time we can do a lot of damage for sets. Yeah, yeah, Malaysia's not good. Exactly, Malaysia's not that good. It's giving me how much left we're blocking. If I do barricade now, how much left we're blocking am I getting? Like, very little. Compared to what Almanabra's giving us. So that's a lot of damage. I wish I would have blocked more, but it is what it is. There's the worship. Nice. 
nice. Sick. All right. So now Sneko into magnetism or corruption. Now corruption does what? Corruption Sneko is really good. We're going to get rid of all our skills. Is that scary? It is sort of scary. Corruption is pretty good though. So we can leave... Corruption makes flechettes really bad on the redraw. Corruption's interesting. For long fights, I'm not sure how good corruption is. Mantra stuff, dude. So mantra... Uh, when you hit 10 mantra, you enter divinity stance. When you enter divinity stance, you gain 3 energy and your attacks deal triple damage. So we can no longer upgrade. We can get energy when we're in elite fights or we can get the sacred bark. Is sacred bark how we kill the heart? We have bark and belt, boys. So corruption helps with energy in hallway fights. The bark gives us the bark and belt for the heart. We hold on to a, an ancient pot. Now we have speed pot, ancient pot for the heart. Or we take the energy. Energy is pretty good, right? Corruption does go against worship and phantasmal. It does. Corruption makes is pretty good for hallway fights. It might be good for the tail end of a uh, tail end of a long fight. So I think corruption does just well for hallway fights. And we can hold it. We can hold it for the tail end of a, a long fight. The barking bow is kind of interesting because I think we already saw white beast, right? You think the bark is probably stronger than the slavers? Yeah, we need energy. Question, do we care about upgrades? What if we take Fusion Hammer? No more upgrades, we have to recall, plus we can rest and get cards. I guess if we're, so actually, if we're gonna be taking four energy, we should just take the Slaver, right? We're gonna take the four energy. So we have Juju, so Juju from Mind, uh, Mind Bloom. We have a lot of Mind Bloom potential here. We also have Mind Bloom potential. So no matter what we go, it's two elites, right? We can get three elites on the left if we're if we're persistent. But I like potential mind bloom here. No longer upgrades means I don't want to take these campfires unless I want to get cards from them. I'm, I think it's always slaver in the situation because well upgrades are less value now, less valuable now because of uh, corruption. But I still think it's always um, slavers there, unfortunately. Uh, let's look for mind bloom. Let's go. Phantasma held up for next turn, I guess. Held it for dead branch. If we do actually, we get more dead branch potential, right? Yeah, that's true. That was bad in Shaku. Skip. Okay. Corruption's out. Let's go crazy. We gotta be careful because that was the end of our. Uh... <laughs> that was the end of all our skills. That could be really detrimental. Well, the thing is, we already know the hallway fights are going to be like this. I just did Bane first. I just did Bane first. Oh, that I would have saved myself in the Jaku. Oops. Is it ever choke for more cards that do damage or nah? Choke plays well with corruption as well. Um, yeah, I could have saved myself in the Jaku by doing poison step into Bane. I would have saved the Jaku. If that matters, I don't know. We'll find out. Choke is interesting just because of. Do are we in trouble for damage? What do you guys think? 
I think choke, choke, choking corruption is that it kills things quickly. I'm going to skip. We do better stuff. Mind bloom. Okay. Thoughts about getting pain. Now, why is pain... Uh, now what's The to tongues does what? Tongues allows us sometimes to get cheaper barricade. Sometimes it makes worship retain. Sometimes it makes uh, maneuver cheaper. And it upgrades things like... Sometimes it makes phantasma killer cheaper. But sometimes it just gives you energy, this, this thing. I don't hate it. We need to kind of remove the pain, though. Don't, don't we already have to remove so much shit from our deck anyways? I'm doing it. Let's do it. We got a shop. Okay, so we can move the pain. These are not really the relics I want to see. I could take a preserve insects and just go for three elites. I guess. Maybe mind blooms along the way. Okay. Is reserve preserve is still pretty good, right? I think more skills are pretty good because if you're gonna have Corruption, cards like Buckflip are pretty good, but not worth buying. Alright, let's get some good stuff. Let's get the good stuff. I'm not sure Preserve Ink was, I think maybe I already killed Elite, so Preserve Ink maybe was, uh, but it helps you act poorly, which is not trivial. So now we can't enter Mantra in this fight. And we draw nothing, wow. Wow. Can't enter Mantra, it took infinite damage. Where's my Fiendal Pain? The Fiendal Pain is, is coming. But how do I kill this thing? How do I kill this thing now? Well, I got rid of all my skills. It's gonna be kind of difficult, isn't it? Jeez. Corruption is really bad with Barricade as well. But if Lightning hit me, it's pretty bad though because I don't have infinite block. I need to apply some level of poison to it. I need these things to stop hitting me with days. So I gotta kill them so the days don't keep fucking me up. But I think applying all the poison I can to this guy is really important. Oh man. Yeah, this guy. They didn't hit me, it's kind of sus, isn't it? Because I don't have infinite block. So I gotta get enough blocks so it just keeps hitting itself. That's 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 kind of sus, isn't it? If I go damage now, that's too much. I need an efficient way to kill this damn spiker. I already have my Phantasm Killer as well. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so he has to hit 17, uh, 19 times, huh? Just hit me 19 times. Just hit me 19 times. All right, guys, let's go get a snack. I'm 
actually gonna wait for more uh, more stabby stabby. He should be dead now. Yeah, GG. I should have waited for Poison Dead to be upgraded before I did that stuff, I guess, but solved. It was scary for a moment. Nice. Man, this Sneko shit is terrible. Let's get a card. What do we got? Colorless cards. Um, I mean, I can add some RNG to my life. What colorless cards would you like? I haven't added much cards in this in this deck. Maybe maybe get dead branches is all worth it, right? I like the disarm. But you know what? I'm. Kind of sucker for this. This, this, this. this adds something spicy. Ooh, this fight is not good for me. Let's take a look here. We have Fantastic Killer next turn, which is good. We kill this guy. That's about it. Oh, adding poison to her seems pretty important. We need dagger spray here. The sets, but no dagger spray. That's a lot of damage. But dagger spray is pretty good. My AoE is pretty limited. That's good damage. Whew. If I did poison up to her, how much damage did I have here? Did I have lethal if I did poison up on her last last fight? Hmm. 96, 96 plus. Damn. Holy shit. I think if I did poison, I had lethal for sure. Look at that. Holy shit. That damage is crazy. Unfortunately. I know, I know, I don't have energy for it. It wouldn't have mattered, I don't have energy for it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What do I do here? God, this turn is really bad energy costs. Maybe a Jack of Trades was not worth it. I figured, I'll try it, but when you get a Jack of Trades that costs three, you're like, man, I really should have just skipped, huh? If I just skipped, this could have been anything else, like a Dagger Spray or Corruption. Instead, it's this. It's, it's, it, when your deck is bad, adding bad cards really starts to, you know, you start to feel it. Because you, you really depend on some of these cards. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I guess we're going to have to let Worship go crazy this fight. Worship has to go crazy this fight. And the problem is Dagger is not even guaranteed to kill next turn. Which is the worst of it. And I don't have my Wall of Clans out. This fight is actually really bad for us. We didn't get the Dagger Spray. It's probably the hardest fight I had to fight, so let's get it out of the way. Corruption now. Corruption now is probably fine because we do have Mantra already played. So once we have the next Mantra, the fight should be solved. But I remember if I did poison her, the Bane is really good against her. But Corruption's probably fine because Mantra's already... But now I've drawn into a lot of freaking statuses. This is dangerous. 
How do I play this? I don't have Barricade in play. Hmm. I'm playing Corruption. I don't want to take all this damage. Of course, I want to put them on her so the Bane actually does crazy damage when I have. So if I have this, Bane plus Mantra kills her. But preserving life is also pretty important. All right, we have Mantra Phantasma. Time to see how much damage it does. Mantra Phantasma, you ready? So it does. This makes it does 36 per. And what is that? What is it? Normally this is um, eight, no? So it's times four. It's times four. Pocket watch. All right, we're getting some stuff. Flame bear is a blocker that costs two. Recycle also is nice. Is recycle worth it? Sometimes it gives me energy. Energy is nice. And then on the redraw is okay. Or flame bear, which just has block. It's also scry. Um, we can time six. Okay, okay. No, I had two strength. I had two strength. So it was normally ten. Oh, that was time six. Yeah, I was not sure. Yeah, six, six, six. Yeah, it was time six. True Grit doesn't do anything because it doesn't, the cost is too awkward. If I'm going to take True Grit, I might as well take the Recycle. I can imagine Recycle is a pretty bad card. I, for me, it's Flame Barrier Pass. Normally, I wouldn't mind the Scry, but I guess Scry is pretty good because it allows you to discard all these freaking strikes from your draw. The problem is Scry doesn't is not guaranteed to cost something that is playable. But the effect is pretty strong to get rid of all these freaking strikes. Recycled is nice, I guess, for the long fight, but I'm not sure how long fights are gonna go for but the other thing about recycle is that if it gets hit by tongs, it makes it free. A free recycle was pretty nice because we're struggling for eh. Right, we're gonna rest again, see what we get card wise. Bullet time. Now, bullet time is good enough for me. I need something like that in my life. There's a body slam. Body slam would have been sick. All right, mind blooms. Mm, not, never mind. Play the worship now. We'll get the shockwave out. Shockwave is pretty good. Getting the worship out is not bad. Get it out of the draw. Shockwave is very good for this fight. So I could forego after image and just do Shockwave Worship. And Shockwave is very good for this fight. I think setting up Shockwave, I mean, I think setting up the um, mantra is really good for this fight. Corruption now? The thing is, Corruption now is probably okay because we did already get our, uh, we want to get Barricade out first though, right? And then once we do a big corruption turn, let's get break it up first. There's the barricade. Okay, now we can go crazy. Taking damage was not that great of an idea. All right, we have full time after ridge. Taking damage here. Okay, well, I guess we're just forcing rest every single time. I should wait. If I hold these cards, it's much better for Mantra, no? 
Much better hole like this for Mantra. There's the Mantra. It's arrived. If we didn't play Phantasmal this turn, I could hold it to uh, Phantasmal and then do Mantra or just go now. What do you guys think? I can hold on to when I have Phantasmal, but this is the last turn of Vulnerable. Okay, but we take a lot of damage. We're taking so much damage in these fights. Oh! Okay, let's go. I was struggling, and now I see the lights. Let's just fucking go crazy. And now we don't play cards. Pocket Watch draws Corruption. We wait to Corruption. Play Corruption. Go, go, go. All right. This is the light at the end of the tunnel, I guess. Now we want to add more skills. We can heal the fool. We can get some gold. Now, gold sick. sick. But if I don't heal the fool, do I die to this elite? What do you guys think? I doubt we die, right? It's going to be very hard to die. And gold is just nice. What's the over-under that I die? Well, the thing is, I have to recall as well. I could just leave. Yeah, I could just leave. Heal, please. We have to recall. And if I heal now, the recall, then I don't have to worry about having full life against the Donadaka, but then I'm going to have 50 HP against the heart. 50 HP is probably okay. But because I had the branch, that leads easier now. It's fine. I mean, I think I can do the, the both bosses with 16 HP, right? What, what punishes me? A lot of things. Finally get a removal. My lord. Alright, uh, this elite. This time, put the dead branch button, right? So it's, it's different this time. It's different this time, right? We have Shockwave and different shets. A lot of damage. I would like to kill the minions. Shockwave for shets, machine learning, take two damage. Or. Go Dead Branch crazy. I'm trying to think. How do I want to play this? Try to do damage to her. Is it worth doing damage to her? Or should I focus on killing the minions? Slow play this fight. Slow play the fight until I get my... Um... Ooh, Phantasmal. Wow. That's pretty fucking good. But I want to get Pocket Watch. Still can. Should I just do damage on her, which is really good? And then Phantasmal try to get lethal next turn? Or slow play it, save life? Slow play it, save life? I play machine learning. I draw an extra, so I draw one. I draw two less cards because Bogwatch is drawing three. But I get this out of the deck. I, I don't have any sustain, so saving two life goes a long way. So random one I draw, huh? But once you get corruption, the fight should be solved, right? Lethal is very possible. Really, I only have like four attacks. I only have four attacks. But it does help with the, uh, I guess, Phantasmal to play the Dagger Spray if you draw it. Two damage isn't much. You say that, but it adds up. Plus the fact, it's not just two damage, it's also the fact that if I don't, if I can't kill him next turn, I have to deal with 25. So do I want to draw two cards full? Because I think getting Corruption just wins the game, right? Oh, I should have played. I got a random card, so I should have played the machine learning. You're right. We got the dagger spray, which is great. We even have outmaneuver, which is also really good, because that allows us to pocket watch again. And the sooner we do pocket watch, the sooner we get corruption, and the sooner the game's over. GG. And there's the game, boys. We win. I want to do phantasmal first because I, I want to draw back into this, right? Now, theoretically, I should win here. Do 
theoretically should win here. Uh, let's think about this. How much energy do I have? 25, 28, 28, 50, not enough. I can just kill the minis, I guess, and kill them next turn. Next turn is a pretty free kill. Let's just kill the minis then, I guess, in that situation. Or kill her, I guess. Uh, I can kill her neutralize, but I want to save Nunchaku. Oh, I could have done that. Who would have, who would have thunk it? Okay, corruption is insane. Love it. Art of War, more energy, calculated gamble. Pretty good. Doom and Gloom for Dark Orb. Cargo Ghost seems really good. All right, let's get the Writhe. So this would have been a heal. If only I knew this was the thing that existed. I guess we could have done random madnesses with the Dead Branch. For more skills, not bad. Let's go. So Welly plans after Mitch and then play a card. Or Welly plans survivor defend a pocket watch. Well, pocket watch is less good now that we have Welly plans in play, right? Well, Welly plans are still useful later on. So maybe I should play after Mitch then. One power maneuver. I think Kaka game is really good though because. Hmm. Let's just draw cards. Good corruption. Can I answer corruption this fight? It's risky, you think? You think it's risky? Well, man. My, it's not always killing me otherwise. I think I can answer corruption this fight because we have days. With days, these are random cards. I hate that I'm taking damage. I hate that I take damage in this deck so often. Fachettes. It's too expensive, this Fachettes. Uh, after Mertops, you not take less. Okay, let's, let's see what we're going to do here. Let's take, let's take a look. Let's play this. Let's draw this. Good to play Worship first. Good to play Worship, then... I can kind of see it cares what this is. I can block more, but I kind of cares what this is. They give me that. That's kind of sad just because mm. I replay worship, but then we do corruption, right? So worship then corruption. What card do I want to do? I want to draw back into another Phantasma later on. Maybe. I want to draw Worship later on. So we can do Worship, then Corruption. But I'm thinking, do I want to draw this again? I do want to do this again. Is Deca's back flat or is there another point on his backside? Another point on his backside for sure. Did we get Barricade out? We didn't get Barricade out. We have Burst Phantasma. So that means we do Burst Phantasma. We have Strength for the rest of the uh, 
fight, right? And just go crazy. We could also do burst malaise, make this guy do no damage. And saving life is pretty important just because. And we have infinite phantasma anyways. Now we didn't have barricade out, so should we try drawing into barricade? Or would you rid of holes? Well, next turn we have a big bullet time. If we hold on to all this shit. Wait, we have grand finale right now. What the fuck? Storm of Steel. Random ass shivs. I want to draw a barricade. Fuck it. That's fun. Hey. Alright, let's hold on to those bad boys. Alright, let's hope this doesn't burn us against the heart. Help us RNG. Let's find Corpse Explosion. How about that? So, we have infinite damage throughout this whole turn. Okay. We did take 14 damage though. That is a lot to take. Uh, I'm trying to make this do as much damage so that I can preserve new chakra. How does that sound? Sounds decent. Is that good enough for Nuchaku? Not really. I guess I get a whole bunch of poison, which I'm going to try. Oh, I guess I could have done that for Nuchaku. Fuck. Uh, I want to keep Nuchaku, so how about we just try to find poison then? Oh, we have Sadistic Nature. That's sick. Look how much energy we have. Oof, look how much damage. Ridiculous. Is there poison in my deck? I'm not sure. Sadistic nature, let's go. This deck is fun. Alright, and we'll just let him kill himself at this point. Keep the chakra going. Or we'll find poison. Or we'll find poison. One, one or the other. The things I'll do for one energy. Probably not worth. Cow traps. There was poison. Oh, I found it. My bad. There was poison. There literally was poison right there. Now, does time me to kick our ass? Let's find out. Uh, do you want to forgo pocket watch this turn? Because we have a big bullet time this turn. Which helps us kill these cultists. After image is positive, isn't it? This is a really good... So machine learning, I don't need to play it. But after image is positive for this fight. So we'll do that. Sounds good. Let's turn this up. Let's turn it up like that. All right, now our mic's a little bit better. Should be a little bit louder, right? Like a lot louder, maybe? Yeah, maybe too much louder. Oops. Alrighty, let's take a look. No more after image. Okay. After image is positive for this fight. Okay. Malaise is good. Wow. This is really good. This is really good. So let's kill the minions. Get them out of the way. 
This is Malays makes the fight completely free. Nice. Um, I could probably afford machine learning because of the Malays, but I'd rather just do like this. Okay. Despite that, <laughs> still a horrible turn too. Okay. Did we just pop corruption early in this fight? What's the what's the problem? Well, what's the problem popping, popping corruption early in this fight? We can make block out of after image. I think we should have enough seals to still go the distance. Because he's Malays, I'm not taking that much damage. It's no problem. I mean, it's a little early for corruption, isn't it? Because you'd rather get worship out and play first. It is a little early for corruption. Actually, I'm forced to rest, right? So what if I just take the hit now? Take the hit. Sure, it's a small little hit, but... This guy's dead next turn. Then I have next turn, I have after image. No, next turn I have um, pocket watch and I have art of war next turn. So I think I'll wait to corruption. I want to get worship out first. Small little hit, but that's not a big deal. Unless you guys think this is crazy talk. Six more than defending. Well, I defend. It's six block. So it's the same. And it also gives me uh, Art of War next turn. I could probably just pop Corruption and trust the branch. I could. I think we got barricade out now we can go wild i think with the barricade out i wonder if we got upgraded uh what do you want barricade so what's important while they plans are barricade i think barricade is probably what we want to play i think i do they want to play both once we have corruption we can probably find more ways to get rid of his strength with more malaises i'm gonna play barricade in this fight i'm not gonna do while they plans just yet I want to draw into Shockwave here, that's the thing. If I don't hit Shockwave, this is pretty shitty. Mm, let me think here. I'm probably still playing this fight too much. Well, okay, I'll do this. I want to hit Shockwave. I hit the Shockwave. I want to play Worship. Hmm. Next turn, this guy is gonna die, and then we just have to one v one this girl. Shockwave is pretty good, but fuck, I guess block is not bad either here. It's pretty bad. Maybe I should just. Hmm. All right, that should be it for the fight. And we're forced to rest anyway, so GG. I'm okay with doing corruption now. I'm okay with doing corruption now, it's fine. Damn, these are some pretty shitty cards from Colorless, my lord. And the damage isn't bad. I should probably play well land. Yes, well land makes me have a lot of strength. What is the benefit? Um, I'm holding cards is pretty good. That's the, that's the point. But we're drawing. I'm going to wait. Because I can't afford the next multi by myself. So now we can do corruption. I ah, can do worship and then corruption. Alright. And now we go off. Trust the dead branch this time. Let's do it.
let's keep all these blocks so we have all right and now we do corruption let's go boom now it's fine let's go boys Cow shops, lol. In Venom. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, once I have like fat ass. Once I have like fat ass um, a malaise on him, I can, then I can maybe play all these randomized cards. There's Catalyst. That's not bad. A lot of powers, I know. A lot of powers. I want to save up maneuver because I'm maneuver. Mm. So he's pretty much dead anyway. So I can just pass because he's pretty much dead. Phantasma, I want to save for the next. This is tough because I want to actually. I want the reason I want to do Phantasma is because I want to be able to kill and play my powers. Because if I don't get rid of these powers, so here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna go. Whoa, nightmare. I'm gonna do never here. Here's the reason why. Next turn, we want to kill and play all the powers on that same turn, so that I don't have to have that shit clogging my deck. So we want to kill here. I guess worship does that same thing. I can save worship for the second phase, though. Don't you think? So now we want to play all their powers. Power, 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 power. Power. Any more powers in here that I want to play? Let's get all these powers out of the way. There's a lot of fucking damage. Holy shit. 300 damage grand finale. Got all our powers out. Even more powers. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, one, two... kind of curious do we want to hold on to yeah we want to make that Nishaku good for the next fa next act and GG all right stack up Nishaku for the next phase the beauty of corruption dead branch baby and that should be GG perfect Nishaku love it All right, forced rest. Give me a card. Give me something juicy. Dreamcatcher has been fun. I'm actually. I, was the dream? The dreamcatcher gave me corruption. Dreamcatcher got me some stuff this act. Tactician. Eh. These are not that great. Okay. Overall, the card choices this game is run have been pretty shitty. But at the end of the day, we have corruption, barricade, dead branch. I can't complain. It worked out. Tactician, I'm not sure it does enough. Finesse seems pretty bad with the Sneko. Yes, it's good after you have Corruption in play, but before Corruption, it feels really bad. I, I guess Tactician doesn't doesn't get rid of itself with, Snek uh, with Corruption. And Tactician is always uh, maybe an energy source. You get like a random dagger throw. So like corruption give you dagger throw and then it's always playable. But with no acrobatics and only survivor in the deck, the tactician seems pretty bad. But I guess you do have calculated gamble. Right, let's go. What do we got here? Frozen eye. 
Is it ever frozen eye? See where corruption is in the deck. Take acrobatics. And then once we play corruption, we don't care about frozen eye anymore. This just gives you card draw. This not go oil. Um, how worried about with the heart? Do we need to I think we have good damage for the heart. The thing about the heart is we want to make sure that we get our corruption in play. So I think taking all the card draw is the move. Once we have corruption in play, the fight should be free. Let's go. I would have loved to have an artifact. All right. So we're taking damage here. What can I do about that? Not much. Not much. And next year we want to get pocket watch. So we play this, this, this. Take a little bit of damage. And who cares, right? Unless you're saying pocket watch is not more important than saving life for the heart. And I would argue that pocket watch is more important than saving life for the heart. I mean, it's tough to say. We're drawing five cards versus... Oh, we have, remember, we have a center's bait as well. We have a center spot as well. Okay. Okay, it's fine. I'll save life then. I'll save life. Okay, very nice. Nice, GG. Get out of here. Suck. Oh, I should play worship first. Guys, no, I didn't play worship first. No, I didn't play worship first. And I don't have my... I didn't play worship first. Sag. Phantasmal Killer though? Ooh, Phantasmal with Silver Shivs? Ooh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. The gift that keeps on giving. Hello, Blade Dance. We're not done yet. We are not done yet. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Okay. Jesus. Oh, my Jesus. Ready for another nightmare. Easy. I'm trying to free up cards, man. Can I free up cards, please? Oh, look. Accuracy. All right, he kills himself. Perfect in chocolate. Let's go. All right, boys. Shuffle and expunger. Now, sometimes this is what happens. Sometimes you have a lot of excess energy. And then you get expunger with that extra energy. And why is that good? Well, it's not good. It's simply cute. What is good is a random draw. Because card draw is pretty nice when you're looking for corruption. But I'm saying there's a lot of times where I have excess energy and then I can just make a big ass expunger. And then you have things like Phantasmal Killer or Expunger. But I think our damage is already good. But it was cool though. It's cool to consider. All right, so here we want to do After Image, Shockwave. Cool headed. Now, if the cool headed draws into the corruption, we're fucked. But I can also do a massive bullet time turn. Why is bullet time good? So I want to cool headed first, see what I get. Let's get see what we see what we draw first. Okay. So after Mr. Corruption, so after Mr. Shockwave is the move for me. But I wouldn't mind Phantasmal either. And if we do Phantasmal. It's 
This is tough. Because if I bullet time... I can get some extra cards from the dead branch to play... Hmm. But that's double phantasmal. Damn. That's damage for the rest of my life. However, I think we don't have the luxury. We have to just block the next two attacks. We'll come back to these phantasmals later on. So we do this and draw corruption, right? That's the goal. Calculate gamble, draw corruption, play corruption, win game. It's a little bit awkward to play Corruption now when I'm frail. But we have determined that Corruption is pretty good, huh? We're keeping the Void in the deck. Who cares? Because on the redraw, we're already winning the game. So this is not Corruption. These cards do not say Corruption on them. But I guess I do have both Dystokias and Snake Oil to guarantee Corruption. So if we do Snake Oil and Dystokias, we should guarantee both Barricade and Corruption. And be set up finally. So once we have Barricade Corruption, then the fight's over. What's first? What comes first? I like to play Worship. Okay, what comes first? Is it Dystokias first? Probably. Perfect order. Worship, then corruption. Perfect order. Perfect order. Perfect order. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, Malay's not very good in this fight. But now I gotta get barricade. If we get barricade, the fight's over, right? And one of the plants as well. All right. Let's get that out there. All right. We got the one of the plants. I want to keep playing Barry for next turn. I would like to draw to the uh, barricade now. But I, okay, the barricade now doesn't mean anything because we're not going to get extra block. Never mind. Barricade now doesn't mean anything. Wall of now does mean something though. And I might as well do my lays, I guess. Um, we're fine. Once we once we break it out, we, we we win the fight. So yes, we get low on life, but once break it is out, we're good, right? They do have a mouse over. The thing is, that it's not working right now. I I did DM the guy to see what's going on with it. No, I'm not worried here. I'm not gonna deck spot. We're fine. This is a very expensive. Well, they plans though. If I'm being honest. I mean, you want to play with the because you want to hold into things like after image. A second after image negates the, the, the beat of death. I got to draw back into the after image. All right, but now we have our barricade out. I want to minimize as many blocks as plays. I want to wait till I'm not frail. So I don't want to go too crazy here. Oh, after image is great. But yeah, I want to minimize all the things that I play. Okay, I do want to do damage. But I can hold on to this next one with Phantasmal Killer, right? That's pretty fucking good. If I hold on to that next turn. Next turn, next turn I go big with, with Finisher and... Um, so we're good, we're good. We have everything we want now. Let's hold on to these cards with Phantasmal Killer. Now we wait till we're not frail before we play our skills. And the fight's over. Five HP in a dream, we got it. And we can even think about doing Blessing of the Forge. This is a very good 
Fantastic. So this is a damage cap immediately. Question is, what the hell do I use my Blessing of the Forge on? I have no idea because my next draws are really bad. We have damage in spades here. Hold on to piercing well is pretty good. Pretty nice. I need to get rid of artifacts. How do I get rid of artifacts? Maybe a hold on to neutralize for artifacts. Makes the multi attack trivial. Choose a card to discard. We have Worship, which is another damage cap turn. But we can also save it for next turn with Phantasma Killer. Or we can do Worship now, damage cap, Phantasma Killer next turn, damage cap, game's over. I like that. So Worship now, damage cap for this turn. Uh, it's, it's, it's due speed pop, my bad, sorry. Uh, fill work first, my bad. Fantasma for the next two turns, I like that. I could also do Blessing the Forge for the Ray Form. Why is that good? Ray Form GG. And we have enough damage for the next couple fights. Ray Form means I take no damage here, no damage in the next fight, and then boom. I start losing dexterity, but who cares? Because I have excess block. Might as well wait for him now, I guess. Yeah, might as well. How about this? We do... Snake oil, oil first and then reform? If I, if I do, play two cards, I can play Grand Finale's turn for damage cap. Eh. Let's just open the reform button. I could play it now or just wait till next turn. Okay, this is perfect. Check this out. We play these cards. Damage cap is here. And we have. Um, Blue Sun, if we wanted to. We have everything we want here. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Love it. Five HP is all we needed, baby. No max HP. It's just a setup deck and a dream. There's a wave form. I mean, this deck is over. Like, over, over. Let's go win. Let's play all the cards first. That gives us the branch. So that we can get bigger build time. Unfortunately, that's about it. So build time time. I guess backstab was that. Yeah. IGG. Hold. And can we do 149 damage in time? I think the answer is yes. We can. We still have Phantasmal here, which is fantastic. Oh, we have Finisher. It's a wrap. Did you?